And Z68 offers a lot of benefits over um, P67 and H67. Um, basically, you've got the integrated graphics in Intel's Core 2 CPU. So basically, they've created a lot of uh, new um, functionality in the CPU in terms of transcoding. So if you're wanting to uh, change the format of your, your video files and put it over to your iPod, you can actually do that much, much faster with the transcoding capabilities built in. This board also supports uh, Lucid Virtue technology. Um, basically, that allows you to use a discrete graphics card and an integrated graphics, and you can turn off the discrete if you don't need it and save power for the system. And then, you know, we've got a full range of the Z68 motherboards. Um, one of the unique things that Gigabyte's doing on our Z68 motherboards is we also have this little guy right here. And this is a SSD, micro SSD slot. So we have several motherboards that have this slot. And what that does is it enables users to use uh, mSATA. So this is like an SSD right here. Now, the purpose of this is to support Intel's uh, smart response technology. So basically what that is is people that have a, a traditional hard drive, a large capacity hard drive, they can actually use a small capacity SSD and cache their applications onto that SSD. So they can get overall system-wide performance boost by using this. It's almost as if they were using just an SSD that had their OS on it and all their applications. So we definitely feel that this is a, a, a value for the Z68 platform. We're the only motherboard manufacturer that actually has this on board. Um, and one of the other unique things that we're doing is we actually have this board bundled with this SSD. Now this SSD is from Intel. It's their new 311 series. So basically this uh, is a 20 gigabyte SSD and right out of the box users can take advantage of that technology I was talking about. Now, AMD has done some interesting things at Computex. They've just launched their 900 series chipset. Now, these motherboards will support uh, AMD's upcoming bulldozer CPU. So this is an up to eight core CPU uh, that they're gonna launch soon. So it's a different uh, uh, motherboard chipset support for that. This board's pretty unique in that it's got four-way graphics support, and it's the first time that uh, we've been able to license SLI on the AMD platform. So this board will support uh, Crossfire or SLI. Now, Lano is similar to AMD's uh, uh, Sandy Bridge in the fact that it supports, for the first time, the integrated graphics into the CPU core. So basically, you're going to get really excellent uh, integrated graphics performance, DirectX 11 support uh, through this integrated part. But of course, we still offer some PCI Express for users so they can still slot in a graphics card if they want. And we have plenty of connectivity, HDMI, uh, uh, so lots of uh, connectivity support. This is the uh, micro ATX uh, form factor. So as you can see, it's smaller than the normal ATX. Um, this is the LANO board as well. This is the GAA75M UD2H. Um, so it's the same features as I just talked about earlier, but in a smaller form factor. Now all of our motherboards do support uh, USB 3 that I showed you today. Um, and we've got all the connectivity that you'd need on, on board.